Welcome to part two of the E-Trade Pro tutorial. If you didn't watch part one, be sure to check that out where I walk you through how to set up your stock chart, how to set up your option chains, how to download the software, customize everything from the colors and fit and feel, how to add technical indicators and a whole lot more. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a few more additional things that you can do with E-Trade Pro. So I'm gonna teach you what I do with my news tab and how I set that up. I'm also gonna show you how to set up level two quotes for both stocks and option. If you're not familiar with level two, you're gonna definitely wanna watch this because that is how you can get the best price whenever you buy a stock or an option or make sure that your order gets filled. And I'm also gonna walk you through how to draw your lines on the chart and a couple of other cool things with the software. So let's dive into it. Okay, so in the previous video, I already walked you through my option chain setup, my option strategy setup, and classic charts. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I set up level two, how to draw on your intraday charts, and my thoughts about how you should set up your research tab. So let's get into it. When you look over here at level two quotes, if you're not familiar with what level two quotes are, these are the prices that people are willing to pay and for how many shares. So you can come in here and get a better idea of how you can get a better price and for how many shares that you can buy. So you can see someone's willing to bid 470, 401 for 400 shares. But over here, someone's willing to sell 100 of those shares for 40, 476.70, and then another 100 there, another 160. So let's say you were gonna buy 1,000 shares. You would need to know how much he, this person, this person, this person, this person, and this person, all the way up to 1,000 shares would be willing to take in order for that order to get filled. So I hope that makes sense. So you can actually come in here and see the chances of your order getting filled, especially if it's a big order, and at what prices might you get the stock that you're trying to buy. So that's what level two quotes are. So if I close this out, it's just gonna be a blank screen. You're gonna come up here to your tools area, and then you're gonna click market def. So if you click market def, you're gonna see this screen. Just go ahead and hit the maximize so you can make it big. And then boom, you're gonna have the quotes. Now if you go up here to this box, just gonna type in Netflix so we can see what are the bids and what are the ask and what are the sizes, right? How many shares are people willing to buy and sell? Now the tricky part here is how do you get it to give you the level two option chain. So if you're trading options and you want to know how you can get in and out of your options and at what price, let's walk through that right now. First, you're going to have to go over here to option chain. Well, you could do it in any order, but the key here is going to be this button right here that says links. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your options on link one. And then if you go back to level two quotes, you're gonna to wanna to change that and link it to number one as well. Now you notice nothing changed. This is still a stock quote. You can tell $475.33. This is still a stock quote. So what we're gonna do now is if you go over here to your option chain, what happens is when you click a specific option, so let's just say I'm looking at the October 16th, 2020 strike price option, and I'm looking at the 450, and we know it's in the money because we changed it to this green color. So let's click that. Once we click it, it highlights it yellow. You already should be familiar with that from video one. But when we go back to level two quotes now, Notice something has changed. You can see right up here that it says Netflix, October 16th, 2020, 450 strike price call option. These are the strike, these are the bid and the asses for this strike price option. So if I wanted to buy 100 contracts, you can see over here, no one's really willing to sell 100 contracts. So I can get seven, one, four, one, one, two. And this is changing real time because the market is open. So I know that I might not be able to buy 100 of these contracts. I may only be able to get 20, 25, 27, plus 13, plus five, plus nine, whatever that adds up to. Maybe I'll only be able to get 50 or 60. Um, that's just good information to know because you may have an order out there and you're saying, 
why won't my order get filled? How come I can't get into this option trade or get out of this stock trade? And the problem with that is you probably can't get in or out of that stock trade because you don't have level two or the in-depth option chain or stock quotes to know what are people willing to buy and sell at what prices, but more importantly, how many shares or how many option contracts. So this becomes real important as you become a more, how do I want to say this? A more refined investor and more refined trader. Once you're doing large volume and every penny or 50 cents or dollar matters, you really want to know what are people selling it for and how many contracts so you know you can get in and out. So that's why level two is very important. And if you don't know how to access that, it can be frustrating. So let's go back and look at how to draw on your intraday charts, okay? So here's the intraday charts. You should already know how to set these up. One thing I didn't cover in the previous one is how to change this theme. So if you right click on it here, you can come down here to your theme. And if you like the dark theme, you can go with it. I personally like the brighter theme. I think it just looks really clean and easy to read. If you come over here to the left corner and click the drop down button, you're going to see the ability to access all these things that you can use for drawing. Now, some of these things are a little wonky, so I'm just going to go with the most simplest one, and that is the doodle. So if you come not down here, it's right here. If you come up here to doodle, this will allow you. And again, you can change the color, the thickness. This will allow you to say, all right, I want to draw some type of um, flag pattern here so I can see what I'm doing. And it's not the best system, but it'll at least give you the ability to say, okay, here's horizontal resistance right here or something like that. It will just at least allow you to draw on the chart. And then you can come over here and click the drop down button again. You can play with some of the other ones, but I found them to be very, I guess, clunky is the word I would use. So go ahead and just hit clear and that should take your drawings right off of your chart. All right. So let's go into our final thing that I want to show you here. And that's the research tab. So under the research tab, the way I like to set this up is by starting with my watch list. So if you come back up here to tools and you go to watch list, which is going to be right here, you can set up your watch list. So you can say, all right, Netflix, and you have to delete what's in there. I wish it would just highlight it automatically. So you have to delete and put Netflix. And let's just say you also want to look at Apple. So go AAPL. And let's just say Amazon, AMZN. And let's do Tesla for good measure. Okay. So you have your watch list right here. And you can minimize it or maximize it just by grabbing the bottom of that box and moving it higher. I like to keep it only to what I'm seeing because of what I'm about to do next. So I'll have my stocks here that I'm looking at. I can see the last trade, the change for the day, the percent change, all of those things, current bid ask. Then what I like to do is I like to come up here to tools and then I like to bring in news and I like to put it right below here. That way, what you can do is if you're looking at Netflix and say, oh, it's uh, up today or Amazon's up today, you can just quickly type it in and say, is there any news that I need to know about? And you can kind of come through here, you know, read the news article, click on the article, read it over here or whatever the case may be. You can kind of scroll through like that, see what's going on. You can also scroll through the article up and down uh, by going through it like such, which is, you know, pretty interesting. This top 10 symbols, you can click on this and it'll kind of give you the news on these top 10 symbols. I'm not sure how they determine they're the top 10, but maybe they're the most impressive news stories for the day. So you can just click that. Now, while this is here, I like to also come back up here to the tools box. And then I like to add my calendar. So over here, I'll move the calendar and maybe you'll draw, break, drag that over like, that, like so, so that they're not touching. And the calendar is just going to allow you to see is anything going on um, that you need to know about in September, right? 
Is it earnings? Is it economic data? Is it a holiday like Labor Day? Just gives you a quick view because if you're trying to research a stock, um, you might say, why is it moving today? And then you come over here to the calendar and you say, oh, looks like they released earnings today or something like that. So you can click that and you can see all of the companies that are releasing earnings on that day. You can say, okay, what's happening on this day? Who's paying dividends? You click that, it'll tell you the dividends and the payout amount and all that information right there. So it's pretty cool for getting some quick information, especially about what's going on on a specific day. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button. So then hit the bell notification so that you can get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. Oh, and one more thing. If you haven't checked out part one, go back and check that out. We'll also be doing a tutorial about how to use the E-Trade mobile app. And there's other videos on this channel about E-Trade, E-Trade Pro and the entire website and other brokers as well. So check out those videos. I'll see you on the next one.